All right, this is the first stop on your Google Flipbook. And what we're going to start here with is organizing our Google Drive. Uh, so I'm in my drive. If you don't know how to locate your drive, once you're in your Chromebook, you're going to click here on this nine dot icon and you'll just find the icon that says drive. So I'm in my drive right now and I have some kind of random things in here uh, that I wanted to use to demonstrate how I'd like you to start thinking about organizing your drive. You guys are gonna be using your computers a lot this year. Many of your assignments will be digital. So you kind of wanna think about your drive as like a binder. Um, and so we wanna keep our binder organized, keep our drive organized. So first thing I want you to do is take all of your old assignments. These are from probably sixth and seventh grade. And you're going to uh, kind of put them all together in a folder of old stuff. If you can tell which stuff's from sixth and which stuff is from seventh, you can put them in two separate folders. Or you, I'm just going to put, I'm just going to make one folder. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to new folder, and I'm going to call this previous years work. Again, if you can tell what's from sixth and what's from seventh, and you want to have a sixth grade folder and a seventh grade folder, that's up to you. This will be a lot faster. The likelihood that you're going to need to go back into your drive and get something from a previous year is pretty unlikely. So we're gonna hit create. And you can see here's my folder, previous year's work. And I'm gonna take everything in my drive, which I don't have very much because I just made some stuff up here. I'm gonna take everything and I'm gonna put it in that folder. So when I'm finished, all you're gonna be able to see and this quick access, I, I don't know how to get rid of, but just pretend like that isn't there. Everything that's in my drive is in this previous year's work folder. Okay, so again, you may or may not need to go back to that at some point. I don't think there's a strong likelihood that you will need your work from sixth or seventh grade. Um, all right, so now we're going to get ready, get our eighth grade drive ready to go. So we're going to create another folder, new folder, and we're going to call this folder eighth grade. If you want to change the color of that folder, you can go over the, on the folder and right click and click change color. You make it any color you want. Uh, you don't have to change the color if you don't want to. I'm going to make it blue. And then you're going to in, go into that folder. So I'm going to open the eighth grade folder by double clicking. And then I'm going to create a folder for every subject. I'm in the eighth grade folder. And now I'm going to create what are called subfolders. And I need to make four of them. The first folder is going to be for language arts. If you want to put your teacher's name next to that, it's either going to be Boatwright or Simone, you can. You don't have to put the teacher's name. That's up to you. There's my language arts folder. We're going to do that again. New folder. This will be our math folder. You all have me as your teacher, Campbell. If you want to put that, you can. If not, then just do math. Okay, next folder is going to be science. And then one more time for social studies. I will let you guys decide if you feel like you should make a folder for your impact classes or for connections. Maybe you can kind of see how things are going. If you're having a lot of choir or gym or um, band things on your computer, you may want to add a folder for that as well. All right, I want you to change each folder to a different color. So I'm going to go on the language arts folder. I'm going to right click and I'm going to change the color. I'm going to do red. Everyone should be a different color, orange. I don't care what colors you choose. And I'm just going to go in order here, red, orange, yellow, green. All right. I'm not going to be telling you how to manage your language arts, science, or social studies folders because I am not your language arts, science, or social studies teacher. Um, if your teacher doesn't have a plan for your drive, maybe try to come up with your own. In language arts, if you have certain things that you do every day, or if you have a project in language arts over a book, you could do it by unit, you could do it by quarter, you can do it however you want. I will help you manage your math drive. I will help you keep it organized. So in our math drive, I'm in the math folder. You can see the subfolders here at the top. In our math folder, right now we're just gonna make one folder, and that folder is gonna be called Digital Activities. And as we create other things and work on other assignments, we will be adding more folders into our math folder. But for now, we're just going to do digital activities. And I want to make that folder the same color. So I'm going to double check what my math color was. Math was orange. So I want to make everything in my math folder the same color. All right. So that's the end of the first video. And um, we'll uh, pick up on the next on the next 
page of the flip book.